The member from Renfrew, Nipissing, Pembroke. My question is for the Deputy Premier. The Liberals hired David Hurley and the Gandalf Group to conduct polling on electricity prices. And Mr. Speaker, you know what the polling told them? It told them that 94 per cent of Ontario families wanted hydro relief. Why did the government need polling? Exactly, no kidding. <laughs> they told them that 90, they, why did they need polling to tell them what everybody else already knew? They could have walked into any, every, any coffee shop yeah. in this province, asked the same question, and got that answer. They could have knocked on doors in their ridings, and the answer would have been the same. But alas, this government had to conduct polling to tell them what the people of Ontario that they want relief on their hydro bills. Speaker, can the Deputy Premier tell us just when and how you became so out of touch with the people of Ontario? Deputy Premier. Well, uh, thank you, Speaker, and, and thank you for the question uh, from the member opposite, Speaker. Well, I think it's important that we look at what we have done when it comes to energy um, over the past many years. We took a dirty, unreliable electricity system, and we have made significant investments to make our electricity clean, Speaker. It's uh, an, an, and an electricity system we can count on. When we flick the switch, the lights come on. We couldn't say that when these guys were in charge, Speaker. We do recognize, though, that the costs of electricity are, are, uh, are really troubling for many families, and that's why we've taken very clear action to reduce the costs for people as we, have, as we have made the investments, cleaner air, but we are focusing on reducing the costs. One, one item, and I'll be happy to go uh, further, Speaker. Um, Thank you. Supplementary. She's just confirming that they're out of touch. Not only did this government need to conduct polling to tell them what almost everyone on Terry was telling them that they believe they pay too much for electricity, but the Liberals chose to hire their campaign manager oh. to conduct a poll, and they paid him with taxpayers' money. Three million dollars. There doesn't seem to be any high, any money for real hydro relief, but there seems to always be money to feed Liberal friends. Speaker, just how much money did the Liberals pay their campaign manager, David Hurley, to tell them the obvious, that people in Ontario are paying too much for electricity? Thank you. You see it, please? You see it, please? Thank you. Thank you. Speaker, we are reducing bills by 8 per cent. We're cutting delivery charges to the most rural customers by 20 per cent. Our new agreement with Quebec will reduce electricity system costs uh, by almost $70 million from previous forecasts. We've introduced the Ontario Electricity Support Grant Program, the Rural and Remote Rural and Remote Rate Protection Program. The regulated price plan, plan, plan rates will not increase for Ontario's residential farm and small business customers. Speaker, we have taken a number of steps because we recognize the burden of electricity prices on the people of Ontario. And I, uh, I, I have to say I was really heartened when I saw the Toronto Vital Signs report earlier this year that said hospitalizations due to dirty air are down 41 per cent, wow. premature deaths due to dirty Answer. air down 23 per cent because of the actions we have taken to shut down coal-fired plants. Thank you. Supplementary. See, I didn't hear an answer about the cost. It's three million. I get phone calls and emails every day, like my colleagues, from families and seniors looking for hydro relief. Every of Stop clock. Minister of Children and Youth Services, come to order. And when the question is being put, I would appreciate the other comments not to happen on the same side. Finish, please. At every event I attend, someone tells me, more than someone, lots of people tell me they cannot afford their hydro bill. I can't go into a coffee shop without a constituent telling me about the pain that Ontario's electricity policy is causing them. But this government needed to spend thousands upon thousands of dollars to hear the obvious. 
Do Liberal members not speak to their constituents? Do they ignore phone calls? Do they not read their emails? Speaker, why did it take taxpayer-funded polling from the Liberal campaign manager for this government to recognize the mess they've created in this province? And what everybody else already knows, that electricity prices are too high. Question. How could they have kept their heads in the sand this long? Thank you. Uh, Speaker, as I said earlier, we have taken concrete, real steps to reduce energy costs. But, Speaker, we stand by the decision that we made to shut down the coal-fired plants. Coal is the cheapest energy, Speaker, but we actually put a value on the health of the people of this province. Member from Nipissing, come to order. Hospitalizations due to dirty air have declined by 41 percent. When we see deaths, premature deaths, reduced by 23 percent because of the decision we made Halliburton, to, Lakes, to have Brock, clean energy in this province, we remain committed that this was the right decision and remains the right decision. We are opposed to coal-fired plants, Speaker. I'm not sure where the opposition stands on that, but our decision to shut down the coal-fired plants was absolutely the right approach to do it.